let's look at this question omar a student of economics was tracking three parameters gdp per capita gdp and population density for 10 different districts a through j of a state the gdp per capita of a district is defined as the ratio of gdp of that district to the population of that district so as soon as you have the gdp per capita and also the gdp data you can also figure out population of that district wonderful the population density of a district is defined as the ratio of population of that district to the total area of that district. Now, see, you have population density given in the graph. You can calculate population. So, you can also calculate total area of that district. So, these five things can be figured out. These five things can be figured out. He made the following bubble chart in which in which each bubble represents one of the 10 districts and the size of the bubble provides the GDP per capita in USD. The value which is mentioned inside the bubble. Okay, so 800. 800 is the uh, size of the bubble, which is the GDP per capita. Okay, the horizontal axis represents GDP in US million as also mentioned in the graph. And the vertical axis represents the population density in persons per square kilometer. Okay, then basically these are five data points that you can figure out and that has to be the question. So let us create all the information that is or record all the information. I have GDP. I have GDP per capita. Using which I can figure out population. I also have population density using which I can figure out area. So there has to be a table with these columns. The only work left here is to write down all numbers and get to the individual metrics. Okay, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and ten. Okay. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. The data that we can get from the graph is the GDP, the population density, and the GDP per capita. So, everything I will write for every circle. For A, I see GDP is 120. Population density is 600. And the size of the graph is 800 okay for b 160 750 160 750 and size of the graph is 500 for c 140 650 140 650 size of the graph is 250 for d 210 700 700, size of the graph is 1680. For E, 240, 800. And finally, 1200 here. For F, 130, 450. And 400, that's the size of the graph. Ooh. I only have it till I. I also need a J. Let me push this down a little. So J. Okay, G. Where are you, G? G is here. 200, 350. And 800 is the size. And then for H, 150, 800. Then 600 is the size. I, I is 160 and 400.
and 400 is also the size. Finally, J, 170, 550. 170, 550 and 200 is the size. Now, within this working, hopefully we are also keeping track of the fact that GDP is given to us in dollar million. GDP per capita is only given in dollars. Population density is given as population per square kilometer. Population per square kilometer. An area will therefore be in square kilometers only. Population is in absolute numbers. So, with this in mind, we can now, from GDP and GDP per capita, we can get to the population number. Because GDP per capita is equal to GDP by population. So if I want population figures, I would need GDP by GDP per capita. So 120 by 800. But remember, this 120 is in millions. So right now what I'm doing is I'm simply figuring out 120 by 800, 0, 0, 1, 3 by 20 I will get. So 0 0.15, 0 0.15 into 10 raised to power 6. So the population will be 1,50,000. Similarly, 16 by 500, 160 by 500 is 0 0.32. So 0 0.32 into 1 million, 3,20,000. 14 by 25 is 0 0.56. So 5,60,000. 21 by 168 is 1 by 8. So 1,25,000. 240 by 1200 is one fifth. So 200,000. 13 by 40 is 32.5%. So 325,000. Then 200 by 800 is 20.25. So 2,50,000. Again, 2,50,000. 15 by 60 is 0.25. 16 by 40 is 0.4, so 400,000. And 17 by 20 is 0.85, so 850,000. We've got all our population numbers. Now, see, these were easy enough to figure out. These were fairly easy to figure out. For the area numbers, for the area numbers, the first one is very simple to do. 001, 1500 by 6, the area is 250. And we know it, we are sure of it. Next number onwards, it is not that straightforward. Next number onwards, it is not that straightforward. So, until the time I find a number, let's say for this, this is straightforward. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, 2000 divided by 8 is again 250. This is known. Then, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. This is 312.5. This is 0, 0, 001, 1000. The other numbers are not very easy to calculate. I will not calculate them right away. I will not calculate them right away. I will see if the there is a need for us to calculate it in Futura. Okay, let's see. The first thing told to us is the 10 districts are ranked on the basis of their population such that the rank of any district is one more than the number of districts which have a higher population than that district. Okay. This line is a very convoluted way of saying simply rank them in the order. The highest one gets rank one, the second highest one gets rank two. Because see, the highest one will have how many localities or districts with higher population than it, zero. So one more than that is one. So if you had to rank these, you would rank this as one, this as two, this as three, this as four, this as five. And now comes the challenging part. See, both G and H have 2,50,000, 2,50,000. How do we rank them? We go back to this description and read it. The districts are ranked on the basis of the population such that the rank of any district is one more than the number of districts which have a higher population than that district. Higher population than these districts, there are five of them. So one more than that. Both of them will be ranked six. 
but when it comes to 200,000, the next highest population district, although these are given rank sixes, this, there are seven such districts. So the rank here given will be eight. The rank given here will be nine and the rank given here will be 10. The ranking is if two places have same population, if two places have same population, they are given uh, they are given the same rank, but the next rank number gets removed from consideration. Now, the 10 districts are also then ranked on the basis of total area in the same manner. So we also need to rank them. Okay. This has become more problematic now. This has become more problematic, but we will try in the same manner. For how many districts is it ranked based on population the same as it's ranked based on total area? So I have to have to calculate it. There is no way around it. I am uh, troubled. Okay, see, 32 and seven, this is, uh, see, 7.5 into 4, 7.5 into 4 would get me to 30. Uh, 30. So this is greater than 400. This is greater than 400. I'm not, I'm looking to avoid calculation, but okay, why, why avoid calculation? Let me do it. So I have 0 gone, 0 gone, 25 gone becomes 3, 25 gone. This will turn to 1. 70 will have 2, 200 will have 8, 1 to 8. Uh, okay, up until here. And then this zero is also there. One to eight zero by three. So this will turn to four twenty six point six six. This is the population. And the next place cancel cancel. This turns to thirty in the denominator. In the numerator fifty six thousand divided by five. I have to do. So one to one two zero zero. This I have to do. So it will turn to 8, 104, 104 ka 8, then 80 ka 6, then 20 ka 1, 861 point something something, 125, 1250 divided by 7. So 12 divided by 7 is 1, 55 divided by 7 is 7. 60 divided by 7 is 8, 178 point something something. Here 0 gone, 0 gone, 45 becomes 9, 3 to 5, 0, 0 becomes 6500, 6500 by 9. So 700 plus 200 by 9. So 20, 220, 222.22. 22. And 0, 1, 0, 1, this becomes 7, this becomes 5,000. 5,000 divided by 7 will be 700 first. 714.29. 2 by 7 is 0. 0.29. And finally, we have 850,000 divided by 550. I know this is greater than 1,000. This is the largest one. This is greater than 1,000. Okay, now I have a rough idea of what these are. Let me write it down the precise. Uh, let me write down the precise rankings here. This is rank 1. This is rank 2. This is rank 3. This is rank 4. Where is rank 5? I think this is problematic. Yes. This is problematic because it was 6500 divided by 9. No. So this has to be 7. 1, 2, 3 will not get impacted. This will become rank 4. This will become rank 5. 
this will be rank six this will be seven this will also oops no this will be seven this will be eight this will be eight and this will be ten now the question asks me for how many district is its rank based on population the same as its rank based on total area we have to compare rank nine and eight not same five and six not same two and three not same ten and ten same eight and eight same four and four same six five not same six seven not same three two not same one one same so, so i have one four eight and ten these four districts have their rank mm, in population and total area the same so option b should be the answer next question same instruction the 10 districts are ranked on the basis of their population such that the rank of any district is one more than the number of districts which have higher population than that district the 10 districts are also ranked on the basis of their total area in the same manner for how many districts is the difference between its rank based on population and its rank based on total area greater than two? so difference in rank is greater than two nine eight no five six no two three no ten ten no eight eight no four four no six five no six seven no three two no one one no so there are zero such districts next question what is the population of the district with the fourth highest total area fourth highest total area is here so population of that district is three two five triple zero so option a last for how many district is the total area of the district less than the district with the fifth highest population fifth highest population is with b fifth highest population is with b and its rank in area is six so how many districts have population or area lower than this rank seven eight nine ten four places so the answer to this question will be option c and that is the entirety of the set. All it requires is initial sub patients wherein you calculate these numbers, record it nicely, then everything will fall into place.